Hey everyone, wanted to do an update on the aquaponics system. Um, a couple months back I had switched to a mechanical timer instead of a bell siphon. So what that does or what that is is I basically have a pump at the bottom of this uh, stock tank. This is a 150 gallon stock tank or sorry 100 gallon stock tank and the mechanical timer says to that pond pump every 15 minutes turn on and full blast it's pumping water into this upper portion. Um, the excess amount so there's some restriction on this pipe and so the excess amount gets pumped back into these this bottom tank um, so I just have enough water to fill up this tank I have three holes within this pond or within this pipe so this is the overflow pipe so basically it fills up slowly it starts draining because there's like one hole at the very bottom of this and one right there and one right on the other side so it's filling up slowly and then once the water hits this top part of the uh, pipe it's gonna start draining completely it's not gonna go above that level whatever I set it to the pump itself is gonna turn off after 15 minutes just from this mechanical timer right there and then the whole bed is going to drain to the lowest part in that which is just a small quarter inch hole at the very bottom um, of the pipe so it's a male connector and I'd put a drill hole right in there so it drains completely um, it'll drain off and on all day long. At nighttime, I extend the time that it's off. So maybe I turn it on for 15 minutes, but it's nighttime. So maybe it'll take 30 minutes before it'll fill up again. Don't need to run all the time. Uh, the reliability of the system has gone up exponentially. Before you would put a uh, another PVC pipe on top of this called a bell siphon and basically same concept but it creates a suction once it hits the top of that overflow and it will from that suction uh, train the entire bed all the way to the bottom of that bell siphon but it's kind of finicky you have to get it just right um, the f amount of flow into the system versus out uh, you have to have the 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 pump running all the time so this not only extends the pump life uh, of or extends the life of the pump because you don't have to run it all the time you're probably doing at least 50 percent less energy um, in the same system Let me go ahead and put this back in there so it works out well that way and it's just reliable that it only does um, every 15 minutes I know the pond's gonna pop or turn off I know the bed's gonna drain and then assuming the mechanical timer or the pond pump doesn't break it's gonna continue to feed uh, this system so much better um, in that regard some of the plants that I'm growing in here the garlic is growing really well that's always successful doesn't require a lot of fertilizer or anything comfrey on the other hand is not looking so great um, just in the last couple days or two I put some fertilizer right at the base to see if I can encourage it growing and then you probably notice some of these holes right there I do have some caterpillars that have found their way in here and then they hide in the rocks I can't find them so it's uh that one's been suffering a little bit uh, just put the sweet potato in there it had already rooted and then I have elderberry um, that I am trying to root out right now and we'll see if that works or not so basically that's the primary um, reason for this system is to root um, existing cuttings I don't see anything yet on that I want to be able to produce as many plants as I want from certain varieties that root easily in this water uh, pothos even though this is like an indoor shade plant has been doing really well I have multiple of those in here right there this is either a cucumber or watermelon or melon of some type that's doing okay and then we have some tomatoes once again it's getting eating eaten by some mysterious caterpillars in there and I've just thrown down some fertilizer to help the system out 
I do have a couple small fish in there just for mosquitoes, but it's obviously not enough to uh, fertilize the system like an aquaponic system normally would. So, and here's some more sweet potato. It looks like it needs some fertilizer too because its leaves are starting to yellow. Overall, uh, it's been working really well. I just fill it up every once in a while with some new water, rain water if I have it, put some fertilizer down, but really don't have to worry about it anymore, which is really nice. In the old days, uh, you're checking every day, make sure the bell siphon's working properly, that the pond pump's not burnt out or whatnot. So, uh, a lot better. With that, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll put some more items out later.